in the last episode. I don't remember giving you that armor. And so we continue. So, maybe if I just go boop. Um. Oh. Okay, so right. No, right, right, no, right, left, no, right, down. Right, down, down, up, up. Got it! You lead, I'll follow. That didn't do anything. Just lead the way. That, you guys are useless. I gotta redirect the laser beam. Oh, no, no, it wasn't useless. Look at that. I'm brilliant! I'm, f I'm a freaking genius! Let's push this button. I don't know why you give me the option to talk when you won't talk to either of them. Pretty miserable. I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Cause I'm Commander Shepard. And this is my favorite mining facility near the Citadel. You'll get that one later. Have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Cool. Uh. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. You better move faster than that, he dog. He needs to move faster. Um, I, I can't pull up my weapon. So there's probably not going to be any enemies around. Which is good. Now what? Mm, I was wrong. Hello, Mr. Krogan. Dude, we don't have time for this. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy beams for us. And the doctor. Nope. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her. And he always gets what he wants. Not today. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Hey, get back here. Doofus. Yeah. No, oh, I'm about to die. Got you. And you're gone. Overheated at just the right time.
Don't stop. You need to run more. If you're out of breath from that. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Thanks, Joker. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Yeah, he's a good guy. I like him. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. That's a long time. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Hmm. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Interesting theory. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You know, I've played through the entire series, and I forgot how obvious they make the entire series in this conversation right here. Big hint. We're wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? I'm Commander Shepard. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. 
I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit, or Saren. Yeah, but you could still help us. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Mm, yep. Welcome to the Normandy. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, we'll, we'll catch up later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, no, but yeah. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the... I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. You know what, Mr. Turin Council? I have words I want to say to you. Dar is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Yes. Yes, it was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. The way their eyes glows really creeps me out. Okay. Uh... What? Why? Your hair... is... You dye your hair blonde. And here I thought it was natural. What's going on, Joker? I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Yeah. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Uh, you know, that's actually... Well, I don't know. Is there anything, any new dialogue? Alright, to Novaria. Um, here. Yes. Yes, I do. Approach control, this is the SSV Normal, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Cool. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. You should. Seems like a very pretty planet. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just go straight to the... I guess I gotta manually exit the place? I will manually exit the place. Boop. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. You got him, Exo Presley. Hello. You don't scam me. Make sure I'm pretty. I can tell you one thing. My hair is not real. You can see it right there. Meiko Matsuo. 
That's far enough. Hmm, I want to be a dick to you, but I'll be nice. Not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. And who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I'm... I do outrank you, but I'll be here. Spectre, my name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. I don't want to give you my weapons. I also don't want to start shit. I can punch you in the face pretty hard. And if I can, I'm sure Rex can. Let's not start a fight. Why not? Hmm. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Fuck off! Get out of here. Give me... I want to blast you. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Mm, it won't let me. What is this? Is this one of those things that takes your blood pressure? I used to love those things as a kid. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. That's all right. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. She's a bitch. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Yeah, why is security so tight? You have security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. Me. Pretty heavy security. No, I said that. The board does everything in its power to. Okay. I can't tread lightly. The board has can anyone bury. unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia, she is here. Mm. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 Research Complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Well, that's where we're going. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Hmm, where is he? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Well, I might. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Aww. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Mm, which, uh, this way. You're, you're cool, Liara. Oh! That looks like a Pokemon! I can't think of which one right now. But it definitely looks like a Pokemon. Or maybe I'm thinking of a Digimon. That's adorable. Welcome to Port Hanshan. The galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. About me? I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's no accident on Peak 15. I don't know how that updated my journal. I don't understand these rumors about synthetic insights. If the office is closed, it must be for a good reason. Alright, well I'm over that. Oh look, another Hanar. Excuse me, I'm in a moment of your time. 
Okay. The male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Vargas. How do I know that name? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Then why can't you do it? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. That sounds pretty illegal. It's in it for me. Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? Uh, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Don't do this. Your Jedi mind tricks won't work on me. What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. That's right. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Hmm. Having some trouble with your office? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Hmm. Yes, quite the coinkadink. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Interesting. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. I'm interested. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Oh, I want to do the Paragon thing. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's still the law around here. True enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. If you change your mind, I will remain here. I see no other options at present. <laughs>